Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to schedule a PS query. You need to schedule PS query in two situations. One, when the data output is quite large and you cannot run it on runtime. So you can schedule it and get your output in Excel format. Second, if you want to make it run on a recurrence basis. So let's see how to do that. Go to reporting tools, query, query manager, create a new query, select record name, say ledger, select all field, do not put any criteria, try to run it. You can see that query result set to large result of SQL fetch is over the maximum result size specified for for the application server modify your query or increase the maximum result size so in this situation you can schedule this query and uh, get your output in required format so first you need to save it let's say we'll save it as ledger in for one copy paste in description make it public click OK OK let's search for this query name click on schedule you need to make a run control ID here click add provide description click apply here you can see that um, you can select the format of the output we can select Excel if required and uh, we can select the recurrence daily 6 a.m. we can select the time zone so it say CST so it will run on a daily basis uh, on this particular time click on distribution there are options uh, where you what you want to do you can place the output in the folder name and uh, you can select uh, to send it in an email you can provide the distribution IDs it could be a role or user as well so you can explore other options as well here click OK click OK OK so it is scheduled now so if we try to see via process monitor then here you can see it that it is scheduled to be run click on this and you have option to hold stop or restart the scheduling as well this recurrence now if we if we want to run it at any time so let's search for the query name again click on schedule so select the run control ID click OK so it will ask you to run say OK Go to process monitor again and see your query is running now. Refresh until you see the run status changed to success. Okay, it has changed. Uh, the status is success now. Click on details, view log trace, and you see a file, Excel file here, which is of size 8 MB click it open with Excel so this is the output which we weren't able to get um, directly running so we need to schedule it okay that's all in this video I hope this video will help thank you for watching have a nice day